In the ever-evolving cybersecurity landscape, proactive vulnerability scanning plays a crucial role in identifying and remediating security gaps before they can be exploited by attackers. So let me introduce Nuclei, an open source template driven vulnerability scanner that has emerged as a powerful tool for effectively scanning networks and web applications for vulnerabilities. You might be asking, why Nuclei? So here are the key advantages of using Nuclei as a vulnerability scanner. Number one, templates. Nuclei's strength lies in its template-based approach, enabling the creation of custom scanning scripts that can target specific vulnerabilities or exploit patterns. Number two, customization and flexibility. Nuclei's templates are incredibly flexible, allowing for easy modification and adaptation to address a wide range of vulnerabilities and attack vectors. Number three, speed. Nuclei's efficient scanning engine enables it to rapidly scan large networks and web applications, providing quick insights into potential security issues. Number four is the community. Nuclei's open source nature fosters a vibrant community of contributors, constantly expanding the library of templates and enhancing the tool's capabilities. You will often see how security researchers add templates for latest vulnerabilities that you can simply add to your own scanning workflow. Number five is automation. Nuclei is highly automatable, allowing it to be integrated into workflows for continuous vulnerability scanning and remediation. Number six, and I cannot stress this enough, ease of installation. We all know how tough it is to install a normal vulnerability scanner. If you have tried installing OpenWAS, you know what I mean. Installation and upgrades are often tedious tasks, and you also need to make sure that you are on the right operating system and the CPU architecture is correct. If you have Go installed on your machine, you can simply install Nuclei by using the Go install command, or you can simply download the binaries from the release page for your specific operating system and processor. No installation required. You can download the binaries and simply run it. Updating Nuclei is also fairly easy. You can simply type the nuclei-update command to update your Nuclei installation. And finally, CI-CD integration. Nuclei seamlessly integrates into CI-CD pipelines, enabling automated scanning at various stages of the software development lifecycle. There is already a GitHub action that you can simply copy and use in your own workflow. But even if you are using something locally like Jenkins, it is very easy to integrate in your current workflow. Now, all the advantages I just mentioned are very specific to maintenance. Now we'll talk about the functionality and performance that makes Nuclei such a powerful tool. Let's start with versatility. Nuclei allows you to scan a diverse range of protocols, including HTTP, TCP, DNS, and more. It can also target various web application types and server configurations. What this means is you can have a single template that can check the SSL, send a request via HTTP, and also send and check requests on DNS protocol. So in case you have a custom use case where you want to test a variety of different protocols, you can do it by a single template. Since I've been talking about templates a lot, let me clarify. Templates are the building blocks of vulnerability discovery in Nuclei. Like I mentioned earlier, Nuclei is a template-based vulnerability scanner, meaning you create your templates and then you use your templates to run vulnerability scans on your endpoint using Nuclei. The Nuclei templates use a simple YAML syntax, making them easy to understand and modify. So the template language is intuitive and easy to learn, enabling everyone to create their own custom scripts without extensive coding. You can add custom payloads and data structures to these templates and add custom logic and checks for specific vulnerabilities or attack patterns. Of course, you don't need to create them because there is already a vast library of community contributed templates for various vulnerabilities and targets. You can find the officially contributed ones here on the Nuclei Templates GitHub page by Project Discovery, which by the way, are also installed when you install Nuclei by default. And if you search a little, you'll find many more templates created by security researchers that you could either use 
or update and adopt for your own use case. Great, enough theory. I hope you guys are not asleep. Let's get our hands dirty. The first thing we'll do is check our OS. You can clearly see I'm using a AMD64 Kali Linux machine. And now I'll simply go to Nuclei. and download the latest binary. And for me, it would be the Linux AMD64. Great. While it's downloading, let me make a folder. And once it's downloaded, which is here, I can simply move it to here. Let me unzip it. And that's it. Now I can use Nuclei to scan my website. And I can do this by first checking what are the options. In Nuclei, you can do it by Nuclei-H, so I will do Nuclei-H and I could see all the options that Nuclei gives me. And there are a lot. Let's start with the basics. I want to scan my website, so I would provide it a target with hyphen target flag or by using just hyphen u and provide my URL. So let's use the one that Nuclei showcase. So I'm gonna use Nuclei hyphen u and scan me dot sh. And now you can see your current Nuclei templates are outdated. Latest version is 9.7.2. It's simply because I have no Nuclei templates. So when you will run it for the first time, Nuclei will actually download all the publicly available templates like I mentioned earlier. Here it has downloaded it to home Kali Nuclei slash templates. You can also see scan results upload to cloud as disabled. We are getting all of this from a default configuration. You can see all the details here. There is info and warning. Now you can see, although there were 1266 templates, they were actually reduced to 1232. This is because Nuclei identifies common workflows and by identifying common workflows, it reduces the number of requests. So it runs them only once. And now you can clearly see, I ran a full blown scan in a matter of minutes. This included the installation of Nuclei, downloading of all the templates, and running a default scan. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to run a scan with a custom workflow, you can create your own set of templates and use it with Nuclei. I recommend you visit their official documentation where you will find detailed information on how you can create these templates. This includes using different protocols using matchers and extractors and using interact sh to automate oob testing you can find the link to this documentation in the description let me know in the comments if you want me to create a separate video just on creating nuclei templates since nuclei is a project discovery tool it also works very well with other project discovery tools like some finder and sttpx I recommend you to read this blog by Project Discovery where they mention how you can use some Finder and HTTPX seamlessly with Nuclear. As you can see, with a single command, you can run subfinder to find subdomains, use HTTPX to make sure they are up and running, and then use Nuclear to scan them. I will also add the link to this guide in the description. I hope this video helped you into understanding what Nuclei is 
and how it can be used in your scanning workflows. I hope this video was able to provide you a nice overview of Nuclei from Project Discovery. In case you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.